This attacking small-sided game develops quick breaks to goal, with heavy overloads in the attacking half to generate chances on goal. The game is played 9 versus 9, with the players being restricted to certain areas of the field to begin with. Two attackers and two defenders occupy the two main playing areas, with a central free play channel separating the two. We have four attacking supporting players spread equally on the sidelines of the attacking half. These players look to combine with the orange defenders and forwards to create chances. The yellow team has the same setup but in the opposite direction. Play starts with unopposed goalkeeper distribution into a forward who is checked into the free play zone. Here the forward can receive unopposed before attacking his opponent's goal. Once inside the attacking half, the forwards can combine with any of the supporting players. Defenders attempt to regain possession. When play breaks down or the defending team wins the ball, the defending team's goalkeeper retrieves a ball from his post and plays out. Central players should use the wide supporting players to change the angle of attack attempting to create space. Quick and accurate goalkeeper distribution is important, as is the timing of the forward runs. We're looking for good forward complementary runs in attempts to create space. Crossover runs are one forward checking short, one long, with forwards free to express themselves individually one on one. Quick counter-attacking and scoring in under 10 seconds in each possession should be encouraged. 10 second time limits can be imposed by the coach. We use the make it take it rule. If you score you retain possession through your goalkeeper. Throughout the exercise we are looking for good checking movements by the forwards into the seam area. Creating space in behind for the other forwards. Forward players should be constantly looking for shooting opportunities. We're looking for positive aggressive forward running, aided by quick combinations from the supporting players. Forward should be looking to draw defenders and use combination play to get in behind. When comfortable we can remove the free play zone. At all times the forward should be a threat, taking people on one-on-one -on -one and getting shots off on target.